Wednesday, we'll see the start to the assembly of 122 state signatories to the Rome Statute, who convened at The Hague for a week-long deliberation on the court's performance and a number of issues that key among them center on amendment proposals to articles in the Rome Statute in the quest to have President Uhuru Kenyatta and his deputy William Ruto not have to stand a trial, at least physically. Kenya is understood to have a three-pronged approach to this end. Its strategies, another stab at deferral from the United Nations Security Council front. Secondly, the amendments proposed at the Assembly of States Parties this week at The Hague. And third, domestic pressure on its partners, particularly those that abstained from the vote in New York last week. The eight countries that refused to vote are sending the message that actually they are not opposed. Because if they are opposed, they would have voted no. The diplomatic message being sent is that perhaps we have not been convinced enough. On the amendments front, Kenya, with the backing of the African Union, will seek an amendment to Article 63 of the Rome Statute that requires the accused to physically attend trial and instead seek to have the use of video links. But there is already some chatter in the diplomatic corridors over Britain's suggestion of the same, with senior foreign affairs officials saying Kenya did not request Britain to make the video link plea and faults the UK for failing to support her when it had asked for help before the vote in New York. The effort being done this week should be done with, uh, with, 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 with full knowledge that even if the amendment may not take place immediately, they can form a policy context within which the courts can give uh, some of the requests we have been asking for, mainly around technology, but also secondly and lastly around the issue of immunity of serving heads of state and persons who are entitled to act as head of state, in this case the deputy president. Kenya also wants Article 27 of the Rome Statute on irrelevance of official capacity amended to grant immunity to sitting heads of state and government from prosecution. Number one, the ICC legal framework needs reform. Secondly, the Kenyan cases ought not to be there. Uh, and thirdly, if those cases have to continue for whatever reason, then certain circumstantial um, uh, realities must be considered, especially the presence of the president and his deputy. It will take a favorable vote of 81 out of 122 signatory states to have Kenya's proposed amendment sail through this week. But even then, the country is exploring other options to expedite reprieve for Kenyatta and Ruto, as these amendments would not take effect for at least a year. The National Assembly is expected to debate on the matter Wednesday. Jackie Maribe, Citizen Live at 9.